Hello, everybody. It's Texas Tim Root from Alamo Music Center here in San Antonio, Texas. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Well, today we're going to talk about the Phantom series from Roland. This is their flagship uh, workstation keyboard series, and it's really the most amazing keyboard I've ever been able to sit behind, and and uh, it's just it's crazy. So today we want to talk about just kind of what it's designed to do. There are a lot of great videos out there already on the Roland US website. That one from Scott Tibbs is a really good one, and Ed Diaz is the absolute guru. So I highly recommend you go check out their, their videos because they break them up into small bites, and they'll dig down. Today, I just want to kind of give you a lay of the land, let you hear it, and kind of get an idea of what this thing does. Well, the Phantom Series, like I said, they've been making the Phantom Series for a number of years, so they've taken all their technology and everything they've learned over the countless decades they've been doing it, and they've packed it into this very, very professional keyboard. This one we're sitting behind today is the Phantom 8, which is their full 88 weighted action version. They also make a Phantom 7, which is a 60, uh, excuse me, a 76 key version, and then they make a Phantom 6, which is 61. The guts and, and all the features are exactly the same, just a different action. The 6 and the 7 are a non-weighted action, but it's a very high-quality non-weighted action, and they've recently upgraded those. The action here today is their very best rolling action, which is the PHA 50 weighted action. It's a graded hammer action, and uh, it has a ebony and ivory tops, and it's also, uh, the keys are a hybrid version. So the keys are just, are basically a mixture of wood sides and plastic in the middle together. That's Roland's best action. So incredible action. So if you're a real piano player or you need that weighted action, the eight would be for you. So like today, I really want to kind of just give you an outline of uh, what this thing's all about. I don't want to get too deep. I mean, I could take forever to get in here. Uh, it, on the top, it's very easy to get around, but it is super deep. I would recommend some videos by Ed Diaz, Works for Roland, and Scott Tibbs. Those are two super Roland gurus, and if you'll find their videos and check them out, they break them up into little bits, and they'll just take like, you know, the sequencer or the sound source or whatever. Today, I want to kind of give you an overview of what, what this thing's all about. Like I said, the Phantom, there's three different versions. Uh, this is the 8, and the action, again, is the PHA50 action, which is their very best action. The sound source is a combination of three different technologies that Roland has developed. Uh, their Zencore uh, sound technology, which is truly amazing. And then the pianos derive from the, their V piano technology. And then, of course, they have their supernatural technology. So they mix all those three together together. And in the end, you get a stunning sound set in here. It's, it's truly amazing. Uh, a couple other things is it is very expandable, okay? So if you go to Roland's uh, SoundCloud, they've got all sorts of expansion sound sets that you can get. The EXZ uh, series and the EXSW series. Or uh, EX, yeah, I think it's EXSN or XN, but... Basically, very expandable. And what you do is you, you'll download those sounds to a USB flash drive, pop it in, and load it into the memory, okay? So uh, pretty easy to do. So the sounds, like I said, it uses those three uh, different technologies, and there's over 3,500 super high-quality sounds in the Phantom, okay? And then again, you can, you can add more later. Uh, this is 16-part. Okay, so you can have 16 parts, so you can layer 16 parts at once. So you have 16 internal uh, zones, and then you have 16 external zones. So as far as a controller, again, it's amazing. This is their flagship unit, so really I don't think there's anything this thing doesn't do. I mean, everything I've ever heard about on a, on a workstation, it's on the Phantom. So if you you know, need a high-level workstation, this is really one for you. This is what everybody's using out on tour. The, 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 the hottest acts in the whole world, they're using uh, the, this uh, Phantom X. All right, so 16 different parts, and basically 
it's laid out really nice. First of all, the cool thing, it's got a 7-inch color touch screen right here. So it's very easy to get around. Boom, just hit it, and you change it, right? This section over here is your mixer. So you have your, uh, your sliders here so you can mix in real time all your different parts. So like if I want to go like, first of all, first sound... So that's a combination of kind of some synthesizer and piano. If I want to just, just bring in and just play piano, bring down my slider. So I've got my mixer right there. So the mixing section is just fantastic. It's just super easy to use, and it's so cool. So say you're in a real-time live performance, and you want to start out with piano, bring in some strings. You've just got really quick control right here in your mixing section. Uh, you know, you've got some uh, encoders uh, right here, so real-time recorders. Super quality. All the knobs and the buttons. I mean, if you touch this thing, it's just... It's just uh, you know, it's just classy, man. It's just powerful. Everything's metal. Everything's made. It's super road worthy. Okay. So it's not, you know, sometimes as they try to cut cost, uh, you know, they'll put some plastic in here. This is all metal. This is like the top of the top of the top. This is the best you can get. Okay. So mixing section here, this gets you in and out of your zones and uh, your scenes. This is kind of makes up a scene is kind of a snapshot of everything, right? So you can just, your scenes are right here. So with your touch screen, you can pretty much all do it from here, you know, change anything you want from here. You do have a jog wheel and some increment and decrement buttons and some arrows to move your cursor around. So really that's how you drive it, your mixing section and then your, your screen here. So if I want to change patches... Of course, it's got all the rolling controllers. Right? Different sounds. Go back here. So mixing section, touch screen. Now over here is where your pad section is. So you have 16 pads here times four banks. So the pads are really cool because the idea here is you can put anything on here. All right? You can record your own samples so it is a sampler of course it's a sampler so you can sample in pop your sounds here put your loops on here so i want to kick off a drum beat all right so you can put any sound you want on there or you can have these assigned to different pages. So you can use it as, hey, I want to go to my sequencer. Boom. Hey, I want to go back to my sounds. So this can control where you're going, or you can control your digital audio workstation with these. So these are multi-purpose pads. You can even put drum rhythms on there. So you come over here and just go uh, rhythm pattern, or actually I'll go to, I'll go to uh, pad mode, and I think pad mode is rhythm pattern number eight. So I hit number eight, and now I've got like a, a drum machine. Right? So you can use it as a real-time drum machine. Say you're doing a single or you're, you, you want to blow off the drummer, uh, drum parts here, you can do it. Or you can hit pad mode, go right back to sample pad, and now you're back into that. So these are very, very... Uh, flexible. You can do a lot of stuff with here. You've got a full-blown synth section right here. So if I want to just take a... Okay, let's take a synth here. I think it's... Yeah. So I can just say, take my filter. All right, you can't see it. But it's super graphic. That's what's so cool about the touch screen is when you do it, you can actually see the curve and exactly where you're shaping it. So it's amazing. So synth section here, 
multi-pad mode here, mixer here, and then your touchscreen in the middle. And this is kind of where your, synthes uh, your uh, sequencer section is, okay? So specification-wise, like I said, there's o over 3,500 sounds that come with it. It's expandable. It utilizes the Zen Core system, Supernatural, and V Piano technologies all in here. Now, the sequencer is a 16-track sequencer, right? So there's a couple different ways you can use it. You can come into the sequencer and you can do like real time, like put it in record mode and just play, right? Or uh, there's a step sequencer in here. Or what I like is the TR record. So if I want, I'll come over here to single play mode, right? Come over to my, my zone, I think zone 10. So not only is there th over 3,500... Uh, sounds on here, but there's also over 90 drum sets. So you know Roland really makes great drum sounds. Okay, but what's cool is you can do old school uh, uh, TR recording with it. So just hit TR, and then now I touch my sound, right? So if I want to do bass drum, and I've got a 16-note grid here. So just hit it there, right? And I'll just go four on the floor, right? And then I'll touch snare. Then I'll decide, okay, I'll do a little offbeat. Right? Maybe some hi hat. All right. So, sequencing is really easy on this thing, right? So, if I want to, I'll come over here and let's just say, I'll stop the recording. Hit exit is probably the easiest way. Now I'll come up, and then I can just play that. Now if I want to record that, I can just go. Right, so the idea is you can, it's an open architecture, so there's not any like specific modes you've got to go into, which is really cool because you can jump from your mixer to, to your sequencer to your pad mode, and it's just so easy to work around and, and just get in there and do what you want to do with it. So depending on how you like to work, you can definitely get, get it going with the Phantom. All right, so sequencer, touchscreen, let's go back to... Uh, Exit out of this, get back to play mode. Let me just show you a couple cool things about the pads. Uh, like I can kick off a drum beat, right? So man, you can just make music so easy with this thing. And there's so much more I haven't really delved into, and I really want to, but right off the bat, it's just so easy to kind of get around. It sounds wonderful. It's built like a tank, and you got everything in the world. A couple of other things it has is it has a, a an arpeggiator, of course. So you just hit on arpeggio. If I want, I just go down 
turn it on and it'll hold. Right? Really nice arpeggiator. Uh, let me see. As far as connection, let's talk about connections because this is a great heart of your studio as well. So first of all, what's really cool is it has it has two sets of line main outs. One is XLR balance, so that's as professional as you get it. So if you're on a big tour or you want the best sound in your studio, you, use, you can use those. And then you've got a quarter-inch stereo out. It also has two sets of stereo subs as well. So you can run things, you know, say run your drums out the sub and then run something out this. So a lot of output configurations. A uh, couple other things, it actually has an analog out as well, which is really super cool. It has, a, a, I think it's three USB ports for a lot of connection, okay? So if you have a lot of USB devices, you want to power or or utilize, you can do that as well. Of course, it's got MIDI in, out, and through. It's got CV gates on there, so if you're like a tweaker with your analog sense, you can control it from here as well. Lots of pedal controls. Uh, you can obviously do a sustain. You can do an uh, expression pedal, all sorts of cool stuff. So as far as uh, connections, you're set up with this, all right? So really, I would say... Uh, if I was going to just kind of give you what I think about this thing is, first of all, it's built really solid. The sounds are amazing. I'm going to play a little bit more of them for you. It's really easy to get around. You've got all your mixing. You've got some super amazing synth stuff. You've got the, the pad uh, banks here that I love. Sequence. Make your own music. Put it on a USB flash drive. Anything you want. Control your doll like it's like, you know, easy, easy, easy. So you can control your whole studio and everything from here. I'm trying to think if I've missed anything. Like I said, it is a sample. I think there's two gigabytes of memory in here. You have a microphone input. So if you want to, like, sing into it and, and, and as you play, you can do that as well or use that as a, uh, you know, sample in mic stuff or come, uh, come in from whatever source you want and sample. Uh, you've got all your controllers here, octave buttons, arpeggiate. A pageator, chord memory, transpose, all set up right, right where you need it. Okay, super nice action. Uh, so let me just play a couple of the sounds. The idea is in your scenes, you can just hit your, your. Uh, there's a little arrow button here on your touch screen, and you can go over. So you want to hear like a. I know one thing I didn't mention that's super, super good is that you can hold it over. Well, I forget what they call that. Uh, basically, hold over. Okay, I've got it written up on my board here. <laughs> Where is it? What's really cool is, you know, I don't know if you if you played some other sense, but sometimes when you say you want to hold this over. So what that means is the holdover is whatever you're playing, whatever patch you're playing uh, holds over. It won't cut off when you change patches. That takes a lot of memory. So I think all 16 parts you can hold over. Right? It's truly amazing. So let's, this is single tone. So this would be just some of the basic electric pianos. organs guitar Gu 
get kicked out of the music store for doing that. Bass. Okay. Strings. Right, brass, winds, drums, synth, tons and tons of sounds in here. But what's really cool is some of the, the scenes they've got already made up. I mean, again, I've done no editing. This I'm just picking stuff at random, right? Real nice bells. Has aftertouch as well. Octave shift's kind of cool to have right here. Let's put it on the pagiator, right? can have fun all day long with this thing so i think in a nutshell if you're looking for like the top of the top the best of the best with everything you could ever want in in a single board this is it i mean the pianos are great v piano come on supernatural technology zen core expandability built like a tank you can bring in your layers by, you know, just right here real quickly. So say you're in a house of worship and you're playing and you need to bring in stuff like that. If you're a producer and you want to make your own beats, bring in your own loops and samples, sequence. Or if you're a synth guy and you've got some analog synths you want to control. I mean, again, this thing is a powerhouse. And uh, uh, I'm so happy I got mine. I wish I, wish I could spend more time with it. But uh, I highly recommend this board. I've never... I've never in the history, in my whole life, I've never seen a board that could do this much. So, highly recommend it. I, I do recommend you check Ed Diaz's videos out and Scott Tibbs because those guys are truly gurus. And when you really want to get in and get your uh, questions answered and get in there and see see what this thing really can do, check them out. But for the time being, you know, please go to alamomusic.com. They have these in stock. You can buy them from them. Uh, go to our YouTube site, which would be Alamo Music, Pianos and Keyboards, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, and uh, I hope this quick overview has helped you. It's a beast of a board, Phantom 8, Phantom 7, Phantom 6, go out there and get it, and until next time, you guys take it easy and be safe out there, Texas Tim Root, signing out, see y'all later.